What's up guys, Jake Salisman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we have a subscriber sent in Broadhead. This one's going to be good, stay tuned. Okay, so first off, huge thanks to Chasing the Outdoors with Tanner Guzzi. Him and his father sent, uh, actually sent two Broadheads, both of them are the sick Broadheads. This is the SK-2. Now... This is the mechanical version. They also sent the fix, but let's look at the mechanical real quick. Okay, so this is the broadhead deployed. Now, we'll, I'll actually get this out in a second. It's, it's a unique design for sure. Then the top is how it goes onto your arrow. They actually have a patented flight lock. That's what that red piece of plastic is that goes on the top of the blades. Now, this is, they say we got a 3.625 total cutting area also you have a 2.1 inch offset entry wound and as you can see it shows here it is offset which is pretty unique i haven't seen anything else like that so looking at the broadhead so as you can see it's got a very unique design it's a really skinny ferrule giant tip and then can you see it let's try to focus on it again there we go yep you can see that giant offset in the blades. That's how it looks deployed. And that is the full cut. So it's kind of a unique broadhead. I've never shot any of them, so thank you for sending them. Now we get to test them. Okay, so real quick, you can see this is how it seats with the flight lock would be installed. And then this broadhead actually plunges down to deploy. This is a, a different design for sure, but all that matters is how does it work. So there's how it looks on the arrow itself. This is a 100 grain head. It's a pretty cool design. I'm curious to see how fast it deploys and what that offset actually does in the wound channel. I've never seen anything like this, but let's shoot the chrono. We're running out of daylight here. Let's shoot the chrono, get the speeds, and uh, that's where I'll break down the arrow and bow we're using. And we'll shoot that ballistic shell. We got the black. We got the brand new block out, so we're all set up there. So let's get right after it. All right, guys, so here's the speed test as usual. Matthew's Triax with the wake limbs. This is an 83-pound draw. Uh, I have a 27-inch draw length. And the arrow for the test is a Black Eagle Spartan. Now, this is with a 100-grain point. This has 50 grains up front. This is a 513 grain arrow with a regular knock and the other fletchings. I have not weighed it with this configuration. This is the D power knock. This is 30 grains. And I'm not sure how much these weigh either. This is the AE or whoops. The AAE Max. These are the stealths, four fletched in a two and a half degree right helical. So what we're gonna do is shoot through the chrono with this point so I can see what my bow is shooting. There we go. With a 100 grain point and this knock, because it is going to change a little bit. It was 278 with a normal knock and the other fletching. So we'll see how it is with this configuration. So we have a true speed test to this arrow. Let's shoot through the Karana. Gonna have to get low. All right, so let's see, let's see what this configuration does for speed. Well, that was a misread. 115? <laughs> that's creeping. We'll do it again. Jeez. I don't know if that's legal to hunt with. <laughs> I don't think it is. All right, yeah. so let's see what the speeds are with this configuration. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. There's the first look of the dip power on the, the arrow itself. Pretty cool little knock. As you can tell, when you fletch it a different way and you add different weights, especially the knock, it's going to change your speed. So this, this test, it'll be going 270 on this arrow out of my bow for this broadhead. Perfect. Let's get to shooting gel. All right, so we got the camera down there rolling. We got this SK2 sick broadhead. It's a two-blade with a crazy offset. 
let's see what it can do. Let's shoot that gel. I'm just gonna put it in nuts. Show me when. Whenever you're ready. It flew high. I see that. Okay, so take two. This is the problem. We're shooting all these different weights, all these different arrows. Well, you sight into one thing, you forget, then you shoot it with a completely different setup, and you shoot really high. So I'm going to aim lower, and it is what it is. We ain't perfect, and when you mess around with different weights, different arrows, it's going to happen. So let's shoot this again. We're going to hit the gel this time. Let's get to it. Can't win them all. Okay. Let's. This could be a little. Good. Yep. Almost took the block off. Well, as you can see, that D power is pretty bright. Pretty cool looking. Worked out well. Then we can rotate the gel to the other side for the next test, but let's go down and check out the wound channel. All right, guys. So once again, this is the SK2. This is a two blade. And as you can tell, unlike several broadheads we've seen, this opens pretty much right on contact. Now they, there's that patented flight lock. You can see what my concern with this broadhead would be is that be too thick, not in allowing the broadhead to do its job. Well, I've been wrong before. As you can see, it opened right on contact, gave you a really good uniform cut. And I was curious to see if this rotation, or the, I should say the offset, would give any rotation to the cut. It, it did actually rotate. You can see it when you look this way at it. Good. You can see that rotation through the gel right at the end. It was starting to really do a nice twist there. That's pretty cool. I was kind of curious if the offset would help with that or hurt. Clearly it helps. But that is, I mean, you can't complain there. That's a really good cut. It's decent penetration. We've seen better. But for a two-inch cut, that's actually pretty good penetration as well. So this broadhead's looking really good as of now. Now let's look at the entry cut. As you can see, cut right on contact and it, it left a pretty good gouge in that gel. And this is dense stuff. I mean, this, this broadhead actually really impresses me. I mean, we shoot a lot of heads. We know kind of what to expect with different cuts now. But this thing right here, I tell you what, it did good in penetration. Did a little bit better than I thought it would. This offset cut, given a slight twist in the gel, could, of course it could help because I actually have a helical on this at two and a half degrees, so it should help it rotate. And it did rotate in the gel. I mean, you can't really complain with this right here. I do not know the price point of these broadheads as they were sent in, so someone drop a comment below, let me know. But, I mean, hell, that's a really good mechanical. That's impressive. Now let's pull it out. Let's see how it comes out. Oh, it comes up like a squid. Yeah, that's that's dirty right there. That's I like it. Okay, so wrapping it up real quick. As you can see, that's how it pulled out. That's how the flight lock would hold it. And when deployed, this pushes down. And then you have that for your cut with that crazy offset. Now... They didn't say what the, the blade width was, and they're pretty pretty thin, so I'm, I'm curious to see how it would do in a, in a durability test. But the blades weren't very sharp when we first shot them. It's something that I would definitely touch up, as sharpness is very key. I don't know why these broadhead companies don't give you sharp, 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 sharp blades, because that's kind of the most important part. But, I mean, that right there... That did really good. The SK2 is pretty impressive. But guys, we're pushing for 10K subscribers. We're almost there. We're getting closer to 9,000 subscribers. 
the more subscribers we get, the more views we get, the more we can add to the channel and testing as we got a lot of things coming right now. And uh, I'm looking to really, really improve how we test with a, a sharpness test. I want to get a couple other things. I'm still saving up for the super slow-mo camera. I found one, but ladies and gents, they're five grand. So it's going to take time to get there. If you guys want to assist in that, our Venmo and PayPal is down below if you want to donate to it because I'm going to put that all right to the super slow-mo cam as I want that for these broadhead tests. I want to watch the broadhead do what it does in the gel as crisp and clear as we can. But with all that said, let's get to 10K. We're doing a turkey giveaway for it. If you haven't seen that yet, subscribe. Go back through our videos. Check it out. It's the ultimate giveaway. You're going to want to be in it. But we got one more broadhead test to sneak in today. We're running out of daylight. So, as always, this is Jake Slisman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Go check out Chase in the Outdoors with Tanner Guzzi. That's the family that sent this. It's a father and a son hunting, and that's what hunting's all about. So go check them out. Make sure to drop a comment below thanking them for this test. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.